Welcome to another episode of the Free Talk Team video series. Uh, in this uh, episode, we are going to install a new component. And the reason why we need to install this new component is because in IT, as you probably know, connections is everything. And FreeTag Server as a software, uh, as a very unique way to manage connections. So what you can see in this uh, diagram that display a full-fledged development of FreeTag Server is that FTS, uh, that is here installed into a node. The blue stuff is a node, aka a separate machine, not only provide uh, code services, but also as a so-called API. And by using the API, we can connect different services, such as, for example, the Telegram connector. We can check for new videos. We can connect to the global emergency checker, and we can even check in the system to see if FTS is down. So to do that, we will today install the uh, Node-RED, that is the technical component at the base of the free tax server. So we have here our control, and we are using a very interesting feature of DigitalOcean. In DigitalOcean, when you create a droplet, and a droplet is a machine, you can directly start a console into the browser instead of using a client like Putin. This is a very comfortable, so today we are going to use it. The procedure we will use is uh, documented in our uh, wonderful documentation, so I will link that in the video description. And clearly, to make the whole thing uh, working, you will need also to have installed FreeTag server uh, so that you can connect to something. So, but for now, we want to install Node-RED, and the first thing that we need to do is to paste this instruction here. So that is a complete script that has been provided to uh, us by the Node-RED team is really appreciated. And it will ask if we want to continue as a root. And for the sake of this demo, yes, we will. So we will do it again. So let's say yes. So we want really to install this, so I will say yes, yes. And we don't want to install PI nodes because that is not an API, but if you are on a, a Raspberry Pi, that is what you should do. And now from now on, it's going to install it. So not only we will install uh, Node-RED, but to install Node-RED, uh, the foundation is something called Node.js. And the cool thing about the script is we'll do everything for us, including installing Node.js. That is the step that is happening right now. OK, Node.js has been installed for us. We can see here the version is Node.js version 14.18.1. Another cool feature of this uh, script is that not only we can use the same script for installation, but also to upgrade the system if a new version of Node-RED or Node.js uh, come out. OK, the installation is finished. And as you can see, uh, we have an additional option here to do some configuration. And so we will copy this. And start the configuration. So, and in general, what we want to do is to maintain everything as a standard. So we want to set user security. That is the minimum we want to do. So we will set admin and password. That is, as you know, the most secure way to uh, handle any IT system. Um, we don't want to add another user. Uh, for now, we will not add project features. and. The standard name of flows will be FTH. And we can provide a passphrase to encrypt our uh, credential. 
um, will be FTS. And we go with the default UI and with the Monaco editor that is new in version not red. And we can allow also not red to load external models. So that is the end of the configuration. Now the only thing that we need to do is to uh, configure the service. Uh, a service has been created for us automatically, and we want to configure for uh, starting automatically when this machine starts. So the command for that is this. So sudo system CLT enable not red service. That is the name of the service. And so as you can see here, we will create a, a so-called symlink. And the next step, very easy, is to run the service. And you do that by simply said not red and then start. So if you have done everything uh, correctly, that is what will uh, uh, show on your screen. And now you are ready to go and see what you have done in the browser. So we go to the browser here. And the address is your IP. So depending from which kind of machine you have installed, you will type your IP and then the port, the standard port is uh, 1880, 18, so 1880. And the username is admin and the password is password. And so we can log in. We don't want to save that. Now, <clears throat> when you start the first time, you will see that uh, you have a very beautiful tutorial on the fundamental of Node-RED. So we'll explain to you a little bit how to use it. So Node-RED is a very powerful editor for coding, but it's not expected that you uh, code. What uh, the FreeDAC team will do for you is to provide uh, so-called flows that are ready to go and that you can use immediately. And as an example of that, we are going to download the flow and to install in your new red, not red configuration. So this is the github.com uh, freetag team. And as you can see, we have a lot of different repositories, including this one that is, uh, for example, the web map. And as you know, or probably you should know, the web map is provided also as a package so that you don't have to install Node-RED, but in case you have issues, for example, you may have issues if you uh, run on a Pi because the installable will only run on Ubuntu. So you may want to install your own Node-RED and then to download the flow. So that is the flow. And it's as easy as copying everything here. And you can pass directly into Node Red, or you can download this file and then import it. In this case, we are going to copy the file. It's kind of long. Here we go. Control C for copy. And then in Node Red here, we will go to import and we will do control v for passing it and we have done everything correctly we will see a new flow here with the web app now you may have something like this and that means that you need to install additional components and in order right to install additional components you go in the palette and you search for the component that is missing. And the component that is missing here is called world map. And this is the component, so we'll install it. And not red is really, really cool because it's super easy to install and maintain. Now, the next thing that we want to do is to import and configure so 
the config and you see here we don't have a node config so we need to do that again so we go to manage palette install and we search for config and it's called node red contribute config Now we can close it and we see that everything here is configured properly. And by double clicking, you will see here that we have certain properties that you need to set in your uh, configuration so that the web map works. For example, right now, this is the IP of pub server. And then you will need also a API authorization so that you can connect to uh, the pub server. And if you don't have one, you will need to create one. For, for the sake of this video, we are going to create a new one. In the FreeTag server UI under users, you can create a new user, like this one demo API, but we will create a new one. We call it node red. And the super secret token will be not red, group not red, password not red. And we don't need certification for that, so we'll set this to be false. And now what we can do is to set in the API authorization, not red, and double check that this IP is the same as the IP that we are using. Remember, that should be your server, or you are going to use pub to for your web map and that is not thing that you want to do so let's go back here done now we can deploy the web map and you see the web map is uh, deployed and the next thing that you want to do is to test if the web map is working properly and you see the web map can be found here and if you click this, you will open the web map and we see that is working. So this concludes our installation of Node-RED and now that you have Node-RED installed, we will uh, uh, cover in all the videos how to install additional flows and configure them so that you can have the complete story of integration that may include also other integrations such as the global emergency checker and we will cover the telegram connection and very important the video service checker when we cover attack ICO. So thank you and try to subscribe if you dare to subscribe that can be dangerous for your life but if you are really brave please subscribe. Thank you so much.